Hi besties, let me take you through the process of me recreating Nana's viral AMVC dress. So when I looked at the picture, I could not even see anything. There was nowhere for me to start from. So I went to the videos and I noticed something that there was a nude fabric that matched her skin tone. Like it matched it perfectly. So this was the first step. I knew I had to start from getting a fabric that matched my skin tone. And this was war. When I tell you... I got there and I saw 10,000 different shades. Okay, not 10,000. But I saw different shades of nude fabric and I got confused. But I finally settled for this one. And I just hoped that it's going to work out. So I made the bodies and this is just when I was fitting the bodies. I still went ahead to make it tighter a little bit so it will not have much crease. But at this point, I was like, okay, okay, okay. It's it's moving. Then now, the next thing I had to bother about was... The material or the objects i'm going to use to get the white um the white design stuff so i know that this is going to be an issue because nana rightly said they imported whatever they used from china and it was custom made and all of that so i don't even have the budget to start with even if i wanted to go that way so i had to look for so um substitute materials i had four things that the material should click before it works number one it should be light so that it does not drag the clothes down secondly it should be firm so it should be able to stand on its own without me holding it then thirdly in as much as it is light it should still not be too weak so that it does not cut or tear when i'm trying to sew it next it should be easy for me to cut through and shaping because i could easily get plastic or rubber but how easy was it going to be for me to cut them to my desired shapes so it needed to be something i can easily cut through so my first thought was paper but paper, as I tried cutting it, even before I started sewing, the whole thing was just tearing. Like, as I'm trying to cut, it's tearing there. So I was like, no, 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 this is just not going to work. I tried a lot of farm uh, materials. I tried um, floater, this disposable plates that they used to sell something. I tried that one. It was breaking. Then I tried styrofoam. And um, it was okay. I think the best within my budget. So I just went ahead with it. In as much as it was still creasing here and there. But it was not as bad as paper would have been. And it was still light and firm enough to stand on its own. So it's, it's a good one. So for those of you saying I use paper. You can see the extent I went to make sure I avoid using it. Because it was simply not going to work. So rest. <laughs> so here I was done with placing the designs. And... It was not so much work to place it because I just had to look at Nana's dress and try to follow it as much as I could. And this is what my final result looks like. And somehow, blogs just refused to carry these pictures. They decided to carry the videos I made when I entered the car and came back home and the whole thing was folded up. That is the one that is going viral. But you're my besties and I'm going to show you my pictures. So let me know how I did. Comments, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye. And of course, I got nice pictures. Also, when I was taking the pictures, I tried to um, follow her own concepts as my inspiration. But along the line, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to freestyle. And I came up with this. Hope you like them. Read it. Thank you.